year. Uh, hopefully it's going to hold up. If you haven't had a chance to tour the gardens, you're welcome to do that. But we're going to diverge a little bit because here at Virgin Water Gardens, not only do we do lotus, but we do a few orchids, we do some uh, nepenthes and other carnivorous plants. So uh, that's what we're going to talk about this morning. And we're very pleased to have from Buffalo, New York, Jane Linziski, who's going to be presenting hello, on, hello. on uh, Nepenthes. And uh, James has got a lot in Buffalo that's filled with some of the best plants, house plants and carnivorous plants, probably not in Buffalo. He's got a website, uh, I think it's a page. Mm -hmm. We can go and look at stuff. And uh, if you get a chance to do that, I'm sure he'll give you the address there. Uh, yeah, go right. ahead, take over, James. So, hello. How's everyone today? Good. Good. Great. Is anyone new to Nepenthes? Are there people that are experienced with Nepenthes here? I don't own any, so I don't know. Okay, um, yeah. there is really a lot to cover, and I have about 30 minutes, so I'm just going to kind of start at the bottom and break a few things down and kind of go from there. I'll be around all afternoon, too, so we can talk about stuff later. Um, Nepenthes are, I don't know, my favorite plant, i got to say, in the world. Um, there's just so many different vari uh, varieties of them, variations, colors, shapes, sizes. Um, they are Asian pitcher plants. Uh, you're looking at Indonesia, Sumatra, Borneo, even Northern Australia. They are closer to like an equatorial plant. Lots of sunlight, 12 to 14 hours a day typically. Um, and they grow in very nutrient poor soil, if not uh, being epiphytic, so no soil at all. Um, that's the reason for the pitchers. They have very sensitive roots, if any at all, and they do not tolerate nutrients coming from the roots very well. That's what the pitchers are for. Um, I guess you can really break pitchers down or nepenthes down into three main categories. We have your lowland nepenthes, which grow anywhere from ground level up to about 3,000 feet in elevation. And then you have intermediates, will grow from there to about 5,000, and then 5,000 feet and above. You have what are called highlands. Some rare cases, you have what are called ultra highlands, and those are plants that can tolerate down to almost freezing temperatures. Anyway. When you get to your 